today is Roger Scott. Now, Roger is the founder of Wealth Press and is a former hedge fund manager with over 25 years of experience working with some of the wealthiest families in America. And at one point in time, he managed over $900 million investment portfolio and has been featured on CNBC, CNN, Forbes, Bloomberg, and Fox Business News. Today, Roger's gonna be talking about flash crash, fast cash, how to trade extremely volatile markets, how his portfolio is always protected from market crashes, and why a systematic approach to trading is the best for 99% of the traders. And I think that probably means everyone in this room. So with that, I'm delighted to introduce Roger Scott. Well, thank you, Raleigh. I appreciate that. And thank you, Nikki. And thank you, Pat. Two lovely ladies. Uh, this is great. I'm, I'm, uh, I, already, I already have the audience that I need here. This is great. <laughs> That's great, Roger. Can I get uh, screen sharing abilities from you so I could s share my screen? Yes, you should have that. Um, I've stopped sharing. And I think if you go to the bottom of your screen, uh, you should be able to bring. There we go. Yep. Let me just get this all squared away here. It'll just take about five seconds. And then I will be ready to begin. Now, you should be able to see my screen perfectly right now. Is that correct? That's correct. Looks great. All right. And on that note, let's begin. Thank you. By the way, thank you for the warm introduction, Raleigh. I really do appreciate it very, very much. Thank you. Well, you're welcome, Roger. All right, folks, let's get started right now. Today, you're going to find out the difference. You're going to discover the difference between simply losing your shirt and potentially making $3,680 over the next 14 days. Now, I want you to do something. Please, please, please take a piece of paper, take a pen, write down. I'm going to give you guys a lot of goodies, a lot of value, and I'm going to talk about things that you might have never thought about and that is very important, especially, especially in light of the market right now. After I'm done, I'll gladly answer any and all questions you guys have. All right. So let's start on that note. Now, by the end of this class, you'll know the exact, exact methodology that I'm using to potentially earn $3,680 or more within the next eight, 14 days. And when I say 14 days, that's actually 10 trading sessions, okay? So, and that number, 3,680, is a very specific number. It's not a number that I just made up. You'll understand by the end of this class where that number come, came from. So be patient. I got a lot of good stuff for you. And I'm going to give you a brand new fast cash stock. Now, the last few stocks that I gave, uh, I gave Meli, M-E-L-I, a few weeks ago. It's up $450 per share. Yes, you've heard it right, $450 a share. Some of my last few weeks, I've been giving away ticker symbols like NET, uh, which is Cloudflare, Logitech. These stocks have been just killing it, killing it. So please pay attention to the number one fast cash stock that you're going to get today. It's a brand new pick that you could bank on immediately. I'm not going to avoid the facts. I'm not here to avoid the facts. If you search the internet about stock trading, everything only talks about the good times. The good times. Have you ever heard of CNBC? Have you ever heard them say, folks, this was a bad day in the market. Investors took a big loss. All right. You never hear them talk that way. It's always profit taking, profit taking. Well, I got news for you. Every time there's a winner in the markets, there's a loser. There's the upside and there's a downside. When I buy, someone sells. When I sell, someone buys. So don't think, don't think everybody's always making money in the market. That's not true. They never talk about the times that it hurts. All right. But when there's an unexpected flash crash, folks, it hurts. It hurts really, really bad. And statistics show us that these flash crashes happen almost every single year. It's not a once in a lifetime thing. They happen all the time. In the past 10 years, we've had nine. All right. We've had nine flash crashes. They literally happen almost annually. And folks, they hurt. They hurt really bad. Some people make life changing gains just to lose it all when a flash crash happens. It's called walking up the stairs and falling down. You might have seen that a lot with option sellers. A lot of traders who sell naked options, and that's something I never, ever, ever in the wildest dreams recommend you do. But 
a lot of traders, this is what it'll look like. They'll make $5,000, they'll make another $5,000, they'll make another $5,000, and then they'll lose $50,000. And they do it over and over and over and over again. And again, they, they, they think they're gonna have a, chan a, ch a change of luck, but it just doesn't happen. And that's called walking up the stairs and falling down. And basically what it's saying is, if you keep doing the same thing over and over and over again, you're gonna get the same results, good or bad. Now it happens over and over, sometimes multiple times in people's lifetimes. I've seen it, I've talked to guys, oh, I was making all this money and then what happened? Well, the crash came and I lost it all. And then I made it over again. And then what happened after? Well, the crash came. You see this pattern repeat over and over and over and over. It doesn't have to be this way. It really does not have to be this way. Today, I'm gonna to take a deep dive into the markets and show you how you could earn. Again, that number comes up. It keeps rearing its head, $3,680 or more over the next two weeks or 10 trading sessions. Now, before I get into all of this stuff, um, I'm, usually I do webinars for our crowds. This is one of the first times that I'm doing actually something for, actually, no, it's probably the third time. But let me introduce myself for those of you who don't know me. My name is Roger Scott, and I'm the head trader for WealthPress. I've been involved in this business for the last 26 something years. I started first week of January, 26 years ago. So now it's 26 and a half years, time flies. I've been on CNBC, I've been on Fox Business, I've been on Bloomberg, I've been on Streets, I've been on Wealth 365, and I'm gonna be there again in a couple of weeks. I've been around the block more than a few times, but over the last 26 years, I've been able to develop a set of skills that have been able to take me to managing almost $900 million. Now, I'm not gonna get into these big talks about myself because we've got a lot to talk about today. I'm not gonna get into all these stories about how I turned 20 million into over 740 million, eventually managing 900 million under assets. I'm not gonna get into the details. I'm not gonna talk about how I managed money for one of the top 10 wealthiest families on earth. Each and every one of you who's here today has purchased at least and has has given the money at least 20 times in your life. I can't get into privacy reasons. Uh, I'll just say this, they're a Canadian family and um, they are as well known there as the Kennedys are known here in America, but they are the top 10 wealthiest families on earth. At least they were till about five years ago. And I had the privilege of managing money for this family. And I was also uh, a hedge fund partner with the current senior financial advisor to President Trump. So. I've been, I've, I've had the luck and the fortitude to make my way all the way to the top. My dreams came true. I started with $5,000. I decided to be a lawyer. Next thing you know, I'm, life took, you know what they, they say, life takes you, you, you know, people plan and, and, and God, and God laughs that that's probably is it, it, it's, it's really, I think my example is a really good example of me thinking I'm going to go down this road and I completely ended up <laughs> on a totally different path. And I'm very, very grateful for that. But instead of just bragging, I'm going to share some hardcore truths with you. And I have never shared this story publicly outside of my close group of traders. Back in 2005, folks, I was on top of the world. I was quickly becoming the king of Wall Street, growing fund to nearly $900 million under assets. When a flash crash completely changed my approach to the markets for ever. In one day, in one day alone, I lost over $6 million. Now, you're probably thinking, and, and a lot of people think this way, um, well, you know, you had a fund, uh, $900 million. You managed money for one of the 10 wealthiest families on earth. $6 million, that's nothing for you. Well, let me tell you something, all right? Let me just give you a real good analogy of what that money meant to me at the time. I was building a house in North Beverly Hills, the most the, the most expensive area in Los Angeles. Um, Bill Cosby's house was actually behind my house. Um, and, and the house that I was building, I, I bought a lot and I was building a house and the whole thing together was costing me about $6.6 .6 million. And I was doing it with cash. And in one day I lost the value of a brand new house in Beverly Hills. So even if you don't live in Beverly Hills, Imagine someone wiping out your, your house, a house that, that's fully paid off, completely wiped it out. That's what I experienced in a single day. And folks, how would you react to something like that? It hurt. I was shocked. I debated quitting, but I didn't give up. I ended up back in the lab, testing my strategies, 
and diagnosing went, went wrong. And then I began doing a bit of research. Actually, I was doing quite a lot of research and I had two MIT grads helping me out at the time. Um, so I had, I had everything available to me to give me all the advantages to be able to come up with systems. And I was using it very wisely. Now I noticed that the flash crash in 1999 was quickly followed by a 39.9% surge in the S&P 500. Now you may think to yourself, 39.9% is not a huge number. And you're probably right. But let me tell you this, the S&P 500 on average gives us 6% per year, 5.92 or 5.98 to be very, very specific with you. So 39.9% in the S&P after just a few weeks or a month is huge. That's like what you can get five, six years out of the S&P, all right? And that's with the underlying asset. If you were trading the option, that would probably be about a 900% return. Now, after the horrific events of 9-11, there was another flash crash in the markets. Folks, I remember it was really, really bad. I remember because I lived in Los Angeles back then. I live in Florida right now. I live in North Florida, but I lived in Los Angeles back then. As I mentioned, I was building a house in Beverly Hills back in the day. And I, I was, I went, I would go into my office at about 5.20 a.m. Now you're probably thinking, why in the world would you go to your office at 5.20 a.m.? The reason I did that was because I would trade the New York um, gold and commodity market, the New York cocoa, softs, the, the New York Board of Trade started trading at about 5.30 a.m., 5.20 a.m. actually, which was about 8.20 a.m. Uh, Eastern time. So my day, I actually, one of the reasons why I moved to Florida is that so I don't have to live on the East Coast time zone, which I did in L.A. I literally woke up at 5.30. I went to sleep at 9 a.m., uh, p.m., excuse me, not 9 a.m. <laughs> We're not there yet. And, uh, and, and, and the bottom line is um, I was living like, I mean, I used to eat dinner at 4.30 in the afternoon. So I, I, I had it. I decided to move to the East Coast. But um, I remember walking into my office and I remember the, I remember the, turning on the internet and the internet was just kind of spinning its wheels. This was a long time ago. And I remember turning on the TV and I remember the airplane just flying. CNBC was on. I just remember the airplane flying into the tower. It was, it was a day I will never, ever, ever forget. And I'm sure millions of people will never forget that either. But, but around a month later, just one month later, the entire market jumped a ridiculous 18.8%. That's crazy, right? Crazy numbers. And early, and again, if you were trading an option, those options would probably be up about eighteen point eight, about about three hundred percent. So we're talking real big moves here: nine hundred percent, three hundred percent, real, real big moves. Now, in early two thousand three, there was another flash crash in the S and P. Boeing stock dropped 26%. Now remember, Boeing is a blue chip company. This isn't just like, uh, you know, this isn't Tesla or uh, Amazon or NVIDIA. This is the bluest of blue chip stocks. It dropped over 25% of its value, all right? Everybody was, was writing Boeing off. Everybody was writing it off. But just as they did, it earned investors $5.71 billion with a B, all right? Big, big game. It was obvious. Folks, it was obvious. Every time, every time that there was a flash crash, there was an instant opportunity to make, again, that number comes up $3,680 or more in fast cash. Flash crash, fast cash. I love that. You turn money from a flash crash into fast cash. And guess what? Just over a month or so after I lost the $6 million, I ended up making $36 million in my fund. So it all worked out the right way. It all worked out. But before I start making predictions and give away my number one fast cash stock, let's talk about the pink elephant in the room. And yes, there is a big pink elephant in the room. How many of you lost money here? Come on, be transparent. No need to hide. Put your answers in the chat. Let's get real here, all right? How many of you lost money here? I bet a lot of people lost money there. I bet a lot of people lost money there, you know? And, and, and that's okay. It happens. It was part of it. Now, 
if you were following my service, I told people to get out as early as about a month before, and I was giving them many, many reasons for it, but it happens. Glenn says me. I bet. Come on, folks. Be real. Put it there. A lot of people lost money. A lot of people lost money. Be real. It's, it, it happened. I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. And let's see. We got a cute quick. Uh, Haley said, if you were in the market, but are probably back close to even. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, or you could have just completely stayed away from the market, which is what I told all of my readers to do, and I'll explain later why I said that. But there was there was several indications, uh, momentum levels, volatility, volume, trading range. There was so many things pointing to a bad market. Yeah, everyone did. Jack says even Steven, me, Glenn, yeah. Folks, it wasn't a pretty time. It wasn't a pretty time. And look, a lot of people don't have the foresight that institutional traders have, and a lot of people were making mistakes and they were being in the market. And again, I'll, I'll cover, we'll get back to all of this chat afterwards. I want to finish this in time so we don't get cut off early, all right? Because I got a lot of things to talk to you about. Please, 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 what I'm about to tell you next is very important. Take a piece of paper, write it down. So in just one week, the global market lost over $6 trillion. The Dow Jones... Folks, the Dow Jones lost more money in February than the value of the Dow Jones when I first started trading in 94. <laughs> the Dow Jones was below 10,000. So, I mean, we're talking just the whole market was wiped out. It was terrible. The panic sellers don't realize, but there's a massive profit opportunity after these flash crashes. It's like going Black Friday shopping in the stock market. Remember that sharp 20% flash crash in late 2018? Everybody was saying sell, 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 sell. You know what I was doing? I was gearing up for some really, really, really fast cash. Here's what happened next. The market rallied. And I mean, it rallied hard. And you know when it stopped rallying? All the way. It started rallying around the um, holidays, around Thanksgiving. Of That's when the fall occurred. And then in December, it rallied. It rallied all the way from December of 2018 to February of 2019 till 2020 till this crash that we just saw. And folks, when it, when it bounced back, we saw gains of 64% plus, 70% plus, 113% plus, earning some of my followers thousands and thousands in fast cash. Now, you're probably asking yourself, how in the world is this possible? It's got everything to do with my proprietary fast cash profit rules. The fast cat, the flash crash, excuse me, of 2005. Try saying flash crash, fast cash three times fast. It's not pretty. The flash crash of, 20, of 2005 taught me three rules that have allowed me to earn consistent fast cash. Number one, you go with the flow. You always go with the flow. Number two, you I, I identify the strongest horse in the race. And don't worry, we'll get into each and every one of these. And then you attack future flash crashes with a gladiator hedge. You have to protect yourself. So let's talk about the first one, going with the flow. Now, this might sound like a hippie term. I know I came from Los Angeles, but no, I was never a hippie. I promise you, this, this is something really, really important and eye-opening. It's the simplest approach to following the money, meaning investing alongside trillions of dollars flowing into the market every single day. And after this flash crash that started in late February, folks, a few things caught my attention. First, the Fed stimulated the markets by cutting rates all the way down to zero. Here's what happened to my trades the last time Fed cut rates. Look at this, 29% on CVS stock. This is not a high flyer, folks. This is no Amazon. This is no NVIDIA, all right? This is a blue chip, very, very consumer staple stock, 29%. How about QRVO? By the way, for those of you who aren't familiar with this company, they make semiconductors for the iPad. And iPads are getting all new, redone, reworked insights because of 5G. This company is going to be providing chips for all of them. Just something to keep in mind. I told you there's going to be a lot of valuable tidbits in this presentation. So please take a piece of paper and a pen, write some stuff down. I'm going to get to something amazingly interesting in a few minutes. Don't Take a piece of paper and a pen and write this stuff down. How about 192% gain on SWKS? If you start with $1,000, you're talking about $1,920 in profit in 10 trading sessions. Every trade here that you're being shown is a real trade, 
and it was held for 10 trading sessions. But here's when things got really, really interesting. President Trump vowed to put $2.2 trillion into the economy, a stimulus plan that's almost two and a half times the size of what happened in 2008. Now, folks, if you're going to learn just a few things from this webinar, please pay attention to what I'm going to be talking about for the next 10 minutes. It's very, very eye-opening, valuable, and transparently accurate. These are going to be the two most important slides that you will see this year. I promise you that. You see the blue line? You see the dates at the bottom? The dates go from 2008 to 2020. It represents the last two six-year periods, 12 years of time. Notice the blue line is above zero from 2008 to 2014, predominantly. That's money flowing in. That's the Fed putting money into the market after the big crash of 2008. President, President Obama and Yellen got together. They looked at each other. They said, if we don't do something, if we don't start putting money into the market, we are going to have the biggest real estate and economic crash of the last 100 years. They said it. And they vowed to put money into the market. So they started helping the, the market between 2008 and 2014. Between two so that's a one six year period, 2008 to 2014. Please, please, please pay attention to what I'm telling you. This is eye opening when I'm done. Just listen, pay attention. This is Fed data. I didn't, this is not my propaganda, okay? Between 2014 and 2020, you see how most, the blue line is mostly below zero. That means the fund, the, Fed wasn't really doing much. The, the market had enough strength to pretty much stay on its own. And again, in 2020, based on what happened in February, money started flowing in again, as you could see all the way to the right. So the picture that I'm painting for you is this. Between 2008 and 2014, the Fed was pushing money into the market. Between 2014 and 2020, they were not. You see this graph? This represents how much the global economy was worth. So let's look at what the global economy was worth in 2008. It was worth $34 trillion. Write this down. In 2014, the global economy was worth $69 trillion. All right. So between 2008 and 2014, the global economy pretty much doubled in size. $34 million. $69 million, almost doubled in size, right? So you're probably thinking to yourself right now and saying, hey, Roger, why does this cut off at 20, 2014? Why doesn't it go all the way to 2020? I mean, look, they doubled their money from 2008 to 2014 almost, right? So they probably, you know, 2014 to two, six years here, six years here. It's got to be worth a lot more. What if I told you? that in 2020, before all this fiasco that happened the last few months, what if I told you that the global market was worth roughly $70 trillion? You're going to say, well, how, how is that possible? You're telling me that between 2008 and 2014, the global market doubled, almost doubled, give or take. And then between 2014 and 2020, no soup? That's the power of the Fed putting money into the global economy, folks. They were able to take the market from 30 something trillion dollars to over 70 or about $70 trillion. And when they're not putting money into the market, the market doesn't grow. So between 2008 and 2014, the market almost doubled. Now the US stock market is around $30 trillion, not the global market as it was around 2008. <clears throat> And now the Fed hit the reset button. So what happens when the Fed pumps money into the economy? Look at what happened between 2008, 2014. Look at what happened between 2014 and 2020. Apples and oranges. When Fed puts money into the markets, the global markets don't grow. They multiply. And what the Fed did right now in February, they pressed the reset button for the next 10 years or more. How do I know that? by looking at this. When Fed puts money into the markets, 
they double and triple in size. And when they don't, nothing happens. That's why the global market at the end of 2014 was worth 69 million. And in 2020, it was worth about 72, from 69 to 72, from 34 to 69, and then from 69 to 72. That's the power the Fed has on the global economy, folks. That's something you should really take from here. Nobody's going to point it out to you the way I just did. And if you don't believe me, check out. It'll back up everything I'm telling you right now. Now, what I should have told you right now I should put goosebumps on the back of your neck. The markets are ripe right now for a huge, huge, huge influx of capital that's going to take us to a whole new level. Now, history is showing us quantitative easing is at least twice as powerful as simple rate cuts, which means a $4,400 plus strategy on AMD could potentially give you $9,000 gain. A $7,300 gain on AVGO could potentially give you $14,000. Folks, I see there's a few questions pending, I promise. I'll land, actually, you know what? I'll, I'll do it right now, why not? Let's see here. <laughs> Jack says, trend is more, Fed is your frenemy. I like that, all right, let's continue this. Let's continue, but I wanna make sure you guys understand this, all right? I usually don't do questions, but there's, there's not, Usually I have over a thousand people. There's a little less people here because of that. So I can actually answer a few questions, but this is great. This is more personal. I can actually talk to you more, you know, as opposed to seeing just questions go up and down. So folks, what I just told you right now, it is huge, huge. It's not part of a sales presentation. What I'm trying to do is open your eyes to the fact that the Fed putting money into the economy is the biggest thing since sliced bread. All right. So let's talk about the second factor. The flash crash happened. Did you guys pick up on a major tip-off? A major, major tip-off. Well, there were nonstop talk about damage, Chinese economy because of COVID-19. And while tons of fear mongers were selling panic, 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 one thing very, very, very important grabbed my attention. The stocks that had the highest correlation to China were holding up best, which made no sense at all because where did this COVID-19 come from? It came from China. I'm not going to go into a blame game. I'm not going to do any of that. That's, that's beyond the scope of this. But I'm going to tell you this. It came from China. But stocks that had the highest correlation to, to China, like tech stocks, were holding up best. They're still holding up best. There's a premium in the market for tech stocks. All right. Now, it didn't make a lot of sense because, well, it started in China, which means, remember, chips, computers, all of that stuff is made in China but they stayed higher and their relative strength were outperforming everything. For example, the NASDAQ 100 is made out of 100 tech and healthcare stocks and consumer discretionary stocks. It was completely outperforming. As a matter of fact, the last two days, NASDAQ 100 made new highs, while the S&P 500, it's still predominantly below the 200-day moving average. The S&P had 26% of stocks above the 200-day moving average. The NASDAQ 100 had 49%. So after identifying the strongest horse, my eyes completely were locked on the NASDAQ 100 and still are. Even though all your favorite talk show hosts were probably telling you to stay away from tech during that period of time. And Apple, Microsoft, NVIDIA, AMD, Micron, Microchip, they were all showing strength, relative strength. Relative strength is simple. We're not comparing the strength to an indicator. It's like the strongest horse in the race. We compare all the, all the cars, all the horses, all the dogs in the race to each other. And here we compare all the stocks in the S&P to each other. We're going to let them fight it out to determine which, where the strength is and where the weakness is. And I actually have a proprietary filter called C Cumulative Strength Index that scans for that. And we'll talk all about that later. Apple versus S&P, same thing. And again, these stocks were getting hit harder than the S&P because S&P has a lot of broad stocks, a lot of stocks that weren't subject to COVID-19, especially when it first hit us. But these are already some of the most explosive stocks in the market. Previously handing us verified trading profits, 64% of Microsoft in 10 days, 76% on MCHP in 10 trading sessions, 71% on NVIDIA, 10 trading sessions. How about AMD, one of the best and fastest growing stocks in history? 152%. 
all while the S&P 500 is giving us measly 6% upside. How about Micron, 154% plus. By the way, Micron was last quarter the most accumulated semiconductor stock out of all the chip stocks by hedge funds, just FYI. By using my proprietary CSI formula, Cumulative Strength Index, that's what CSI stands for. It has nothing to do with that hit show that was on CBS for the last 10 years. It's, it's a formula that takes the six-month, three-month, and the one-month strength and averages them over the entire sector or the stock universe that I'm looking at. That's what it looks like. It's codes. It, I press a button, and it gives me the stock. When we combine that with our first two steps, going with the flow, and identifying the strongest horse in the race, we could earn fast cash within the next two weeks or 10 trading sessions. But I did a little more digging and I found out that this type of profit opportunity, it doesn't just exist after a flash crash. It happens exactly 24 times per year, 24 times per year. With verified biweekly profits like 2,000 plus, 5,000 plus, 8,000 plus, with trades happening every two weeks. You know how sometimes you get an alert service and you get an alert and you literally have to get to your computer in time or you're gonna miss it and the trade's gonna be over and it's all gone? We don't play that game here, all right? We don't do that here. We give you the trades on a time set schedule so you know that every Wednesday, two Wednesdays from now, you're gonna get a trade. That means, that means, I'm going to give you an alert and say, hey, guys, in the next two days, so Monday morning, let's imagine that Wednesday the trade comes out, all right? On Monday, I will send you an email saying, hey, guys, remember, Wednesday we have a trade coming up. And then on Wednesday morning, I'll say, hey, guys, there's a trade. It's in the members area. But don't execute it for another seven hours. So you're going to get a 48-hour notice. You're going to get a 24-hour notice. And then you're going to get an eight-hour notice with the trades already being in the members area. So if you live in China, if you live in Australia, if you live in Singapore, if you live on the moon, you'll be able to get these signals in time. And you literally need 15 minutes a day to put them on, and then they just remain for two weeks. There's nothing to do, and I'll explain why there's nothing to do in just a bit with more fast catch gains like 5,000 plus, 6,000 plus, 10,000 plus. Don't worry, there's more, there's plenty more. How about 3,400, how about 5,100, how about 8,100, how about 6,400? And all of these were started with a $10,000 account and it trades every two weeks, more big profits. These are all verified strategy profits. Now, I'm a very suspicious guy and I'm a numbers guy. I had my assistant, Craig, I had him run the numbers and I had him triple check all the data. We found this, since 2010, we've had 585 profit payments from fast cash. Important, very important. In the future, there will be another flash crash. It's gonna happen, it's inevitable. Now, in order to continue earning profits when flash crash happens, you need the perfect hedge. Folks, write this down. I'm gonna give you some valuable stuff. Regardless of whether we, you walk away here in my program or you walk away here and we never, you never see or hear me again, please, the stuff I'm giving you here is institutional grade trading tactics. This will give you an unfair advantage in the market. This may look a little different, but I trust me. We, we took the strategies that I'm telling you right now went from $10,000 to $4.1 million and are still going higher. So. This is the real deal. Now, over my last 26 years, I've studied dozens of powerful portfolio hedging strategies. Gold is not a bad one, right? During this COVID-19 crash in April, uh, excuse me, in February, we also had one in April, yeah, okay. But in February, gold gave us a hedge of 272% plus. Not bad, right? Short selling works. We had one of our systems gave us a hedge. These are all actual hedges that happen to different different systems that I had working in February. Short selling work gave us 377%. People were very, very happy. Instead of losing 30, 40%, they were making 377%. But none of these tested hedges have ever been as resilient as the Gladiator hedge. TMF, triple leveraged bond ETF. How about 265%? 
while not locking in a loss on your account. How about 441%? Not bad, right? We're getting warmer, <clears throat> warmer here, right? How about 587%? That's what I'm talking about. A lot of traders were losing money during the crash. We were making money like bandits. When the flash crash happens, our entire portfolio is protected by the Gladiator hedge and can even earn us fast cash during those dumps. Take a look at this. Now, what you're looking for here is something interesting, and I got to spend a little time on this. First of all, notice it's not just one trade. It's a basket. It's a cluster. It's a combination. We never, ever, ever, ever put on a single trade. Every two weeks, we put on what is called a cluster. The cluster takes into account the current market conditions, the current volatility, the current trading range, how defensive we have to be, so forth and so forth. Take a look at this cluster here. Amazon, 30%. Adobe, 30%. Citrix System, 30%. TMF, 10%. All the stocks went down. We were dead wrong. Our timing was just sucked. But the TMF rescued us. The profit, the cluster was profitable. Now, I'm going to explain something to you guys. When you see large hedge funds buying, they don't buy single stocks. They don't buy one stock and hold it for a month. They buy, you ever heard of the term program buying, program selling? They press a button and they accumulate a cluster just like this cluster right here, the one you're looking at. It's a cocktail. It's a cocktail that's perfectly mixed to take advantage of the environment for the next two weeks. If the market's increasingly bearish, there's a bigger percentage of hedge. There's less tech stocks. We control our exposure for the two weeks ahead or 10 trade. Every time I say two weeks, it's 10 trading sessions. We control them every time. And again, this wasn't a one-time thing. It happens again and again and again. Sometimes some of the stocks make money. Sometimes the bond hedge makes money. Remember, bonds don't always go down and we're long. Everything is long. We give you the underlying asset. We give you the option criteria and we even give you the debit spread. You have a massive account, trade the stocks. You have a medium or a small size account, trade the options. You have a tiny, tiny account, trade the debit spread. And if we don't charge you, we don't, we don't a la carte. Everything is together. You could trade A, B, or C or trade them together. But the bottom line is we trade like a hedge fund. We, we use relative strength to determine positions. We combine these positions in hedged clusters. We use a real hedge. Stop losses. I'm going to tell you something about stop losses. There's nothing that, excuse my French, pisses me off more than seeing a stock or an option go down, get stopped out, and then seeing it go back up. The, the bond is a natural hedge. It'll hedge your portfolio without you being stopped out. And that's how we're able to get over 70% win rate on a momentum system with a backtrack portfolio that we have in the members area that puts into account every trade that we've ever taken in real time, all there completely downloadable for you to use. Even when the market dropped, remember when the market dropped 7.8%? Do you want to know how we did? Our entire cluster was up 33.5%. So people are even, Roger, I'm losing money. My account is down 30%. I'm going, oh, we're up 33.5%. 10 trading sessions. So did you lose money during the crash? Our system made 33.5% in 10 trading sessions. Now, want to know how the Gladiator hedge performed during the worst crash since 2008? 409%. And this isn't some theory. This isn't could have, should have, would have. This actually happened. And with a perfectly paired cluster, we knock it out of a ball, ballpark. Sometimes all four positions make money. Sometimes three make money. Sometimes two make money. The bottom line is we stop looking at individual positions and we start looking at clusters because we're now turning the page and turning and starting to trade like a professional hedge fund. We don't use indicators that are completely lagging to determine which stocks to buy. We don't impose our will on the market by figuring out what to do next. We let the market decide which stocks we should trade. We let the market decide how much of our hedge to use. We create a cluster and the market does the rest. And that's how hedge funds trade, folks. Hedge funds don't put all their eggs in one basket. Hedge funds don't use stupid stop losses to control a $1 million 
dollar position. They use a hedge. If you turn everything around, you start trading like a hedge fund. Now I'm going to tell you an eye-opening story. This program that I'm talking about, and I'll talk more about in a bit, when we first started marketing this program, I took it from two from ten thousand dollars to two point six million dollars, and then I started selling it. Everyone thought that was it; that was the peak. A little while later, I got an email from someone said, "Roger, there's a big problem. The headline on your page is, is misrepresent. It's 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 a lie." I said, "What are you talking about?" He said, "I'm on, I'm inside the members area, and I've been following your program, and it said it's over four million dollars now. Your your." Uh, your headline still says from 10,000 to 2.6 million. The point I'm making folks is when I started selling this program, everyone thought that was it. It was the peak. It couldn't work anymore. And it went from with real in real time accounted for with real trades. It went from $2.6 million to $4.1 million. Essentially the program went from $10,000 to $4.1 million. And that's not the options. I'm not even going to talk about the options. Whatever I just said, multiplied times 10. So to say that this is a winning program would be an understatement, not a back-tested winning program, a program that was never modified, never changed, never adjusted in 10 years, taking us all the way from 10,000 to four, over $4 million. And it's, and it's going to do, continue doing just as well. And I picked these fast cash stocks using my proprietary CSI formula. It tells me every two weeks, the three best stocks to own for the potential, potential fast cash. It, let me give you a brand new one right now. Write this down. This is a, a good stock. Name of the company is Activision Blizzard, number one maker of video games. There's another second wave coming with COVID-19 right now. A lot of traders, a lot of people, sports are not going on. A lot of people are stuck at home playing video games. I believe ATVI has the only contract with the NFL. Uh, it's, it's, it's got a lot of really, really cool games. And the thing about video games, the sector of the economy, of the people who, who, who play video games are the highest earners in terms of the bracket. So it looks to me like, you know, when I was a kid, I played Pac-Man, Centipede. I'm going to be 50 next year. Okay, so give me a break. But um, in all honesty, the games that are around now, kids don't stop playing games anymore. They continue playing games into their adulthood and they have money and they make the biggest sector. So, and this is the biggest company. And especially with COVID-19, video game makers are going to continue making money. I was actually looking at Nintendo the other day. It was, it was doing really well. I like the stock quite a bit. It's backed by $56 billion market cap. It's continuously makes new high. It has 18 strong buy recommendations and it has four positive earnings over the past four quarters which is a strong sign that there's going to be more institutional buying coming into this stock. Now, let me tell you why you would be a fool to leave this broadcast right now and just buy that stock. Sure, you could exit right now and place the fast cash trade and bank on ATVI, but, and you can make that $3,680 that I keep talking about. And I'll tell you where that came from, but, but, you would be leaving millions on the table. Over the last 10 years, by using my fast cash profit rules, you could have turned that $10,000 into $4.1 million. And yes, there's a downloadable spreadsheet in the members area that accounts for every trade ever taken. And this is the underlying stocks, not the options. Options, forget about it. We've had gains 50, 60, 100% in two weeks with options. And after this recent flash crash, folks, I am licking my chops. With the amount of NASDAQ stocks trading at massive discounts right now, plus this $2.2 trillion package, I don't know if there's ever, ever been a better time for this massive bi-weekly profit from the U.S. stock market, especially with the NASDAQ stocks making new highs. Then right now with my completely supercharged NASDAQ Titan Plus, and I didn't change the system. I just added something to it. And what I added was a member's portal to show you how I designed the system because a lot of traders didn't just want to trade it. They wanted to, I mean, they didn't just want to take the signals. They wanted to learn. So the system is the same. I just gave people more goodies in the members area so they can learn 
get behind, you know, get the behind the scenes understanding because a lot of traders won't trade something unless they understand every rule of it. And that's what I provided. Now in the next five minutes or so, I'm going to give you the opportunity to jump in on all of these three fast cash picks plus the gladiator hedge. But first I want to explain something to you. That $3,680 profit, it's not a random number. I didn't pull it out of my butt. Excuse my French. That $3,680 is the exact amount my strategy earned within days after the 2018 crash from a $10,000 account using actual stocks. Smaller account, you could use options. You could probably make a lot more. And since then, the strategy has increased the portfolio has increased $728,580. But how about, you know, I could say a lot of things. It's my system. I haven't changed it. It's been the same. It's been consistent. It's my favorite strategy ever. But how about listening to some of your peers, people just like you? And Carlton is a, we met, he bought the system. He lives here in Ponte Vedra. So we, we get together, we have lunch sometimes. He's a great guy. I'm up 23% in the NASDAQ Titan Plus, And it's been the worst year in the markets ever. Scott, who's a member, said he's made winning rotations of 7,000, 11,000, 12,000, even 24,000. How about Germano? Since January 1st, I've increased my trading account 8,000 to 28,000 in two months. Germano and I talk on, uh, on Facebook when I upload videos every morning. I love talking to you guys. I want to talk more to you guys. Hello, Roger. Thanks for everything. Made $10,000 on my account with my first two-week cluster. Randall's in my VIP program. Remember, these trades are not once a quarter. They're not once a month. And again, I know I'm going to get a lot of questions on this. You get the stocks, you get the option criteria, and you get the debit spread criteria. And you don't need a lot of a large account. You could start with literally $2,000 and, and do the debit spreads. Again, there's no extra cost for the option criteria, and there's no extra cost for the spreads. These are not income spreads. You don't need to have unlimited account. You don't need to have approval from your broker, level four. These are just simple debit spreads, regular options. You just buy calls or you buy the underlying asset. You could do this in your 401k. You could do this in your IRA account. As a matter of fact, most traders do. You're gonna get text alerts. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. We signed up with Twilio. They do international text alerts. You enter your member, your phone number in the members area and you get a confirmation and they, you're on board. You're not going to have to sit in front of your PC for a long time. You're not going to get random entry and entry, exit signals. These are four trades happening on the same day at the same time every two weeks and you literally do not need a lot of time, meaning you can place your trade and then go about your business for the next 14 days. Play some golf, for Christ's sake. I live right on the 10th hole. Come out here. We'll play some golf. Let's go fishing. That actually looks just like our lake right here. How about relaxing a little bit? Spend some time with people you love. Don't travel right now. Let's wait to travel. Let's wait for the COVID-19 thing to pass by, and then we'll start traveling, all right? Do whatever you've been wanting to do while the NASDAQ Titan does all the work. You're not going to get only the trades. You're getting more. You're also going to get access to the Profit Academy. And this is what I was talking about. This is why we, we, we call it Titan Plus. We added it. Uh, we didn't change the rules of the system, not 1%. We just added a few things into the members area to make your life easier. You're going to get to learn the under the hood system. You're going to learn how I set up the trades. You're going to get the list for every week. I'm going to walk you through how I build the portfolio. You're going to learn how I trade these stocks for pennies on the dollar. That There's no extra cost. It's included in the program. You're going to get 12 complete issues of the breakout report. Folks, let me give you some stocks that we've talked about in the breakout report. Meli, M-E-L-I, up almost $500 in the last two months. How about uh, Cloudflare, Net? How about D-Dog? How about S-E? Almost every stock that I pick for this has gone up fivefold, tenfold. I mean, these stocks move, all right? You're going to get this. It's going to be part of your subscription. Most importantly, I don't just give you the stocks. I show you how I find them so you can learn how to replicate what I do. You'll also receive access to the NASDAQ Titan hotline. I'm not done yet. I'm going to give you something really, really cool. I do a VIP trade room every day, every day at 2 o'clock. 
me and Craig do it and we record it. So if you're not available to be there, that's fine too. We don't sell it anymore. This thing is so hot. We used to sell it for $5,000. We just don't even sell it anymore. I just don't have time and I've got more people in there that I know what to do with. I'm going to give you guys 30 days access. In that room, you get access to all of my signals. You get income trades, directional trades. You get all of my codes. You get everything in there completely from A to Z. It's all going to be there. And you're going to get the Gladiator Guarantee. Now, the Gladiator Guarantee is very, very simple. If you don't have the potential to earn $3,680 in the first 30 days, I'm going to continue to mentor you in the VIP room until you do. That's money out of my pocket. I want your membership to be paid within the first 30 days or sooner. This is what you're getting. You're going to get 96 trades every year. That's a 52944 value. And quite honestly, I think it's worth 520000 because we've seen winners after winners after winners for a decade. All right? You're going to get the VIP trade room 30-day access. Actually, the, the value of that is $49.99. But let's just say $29.99 just for argument's sake. You're going to get 12 issues of the breakout report. Again, if you just got Melly from that one, you would have been up almost 500 points on that stock. You're going to get Profit Academy. This is where I take you under the hood and I show you exactly how everything works. So you understand the strategy A to Z. I'm going to give you the alert hotline, which will answer all of your questions. If you have a question, you call our VIP team. They answer it for you. I'm also going to give you access to the Gladiator No Risk Guarantee. $39.99 of my time and my money. All the risk is on me. You're not satisfied. You're not seeing the profit opportunities here. I'm going to tutor you in my program till you do. That's me to you. That's like a personal VIP program. And folks, I've been doing this for 26 years. I can really help you succeed in trading. The total value here is $63,438. For the insider cost of $29.97. If you go to our website, that's how much this will cost. But I know folks have been experiencing pain in the last several weeks. The stock market has been choppy. A lot of people are still recovering from COVID-19. People are not back to their work yet. And some of you don't have thousands of dollars to spare. I went to my guys. I told my publisher, I said, look, we got to do something special. I'm not going to, I'm not going to come, you know, uh, Pat and Nikki, uh, they invited me here. I want to make a nice impression. I want to make sure we give people the best, the best value possible. So I'm going to give you a $2,000 credit. That's my money. All right. Now we got 50 spots. Now, every time we've opened these spots, we have completely, completely sold out. Now, if I was to say 997 for one year, I'd probably be doing you the best deal ever because you're never, ever, ever, ever going to get that deal. It's actually 2997 for a year, but I'm going to do something crazy today. When I say crazy, I mean crazy. I'm going to make this the best deal ever. Instead of doing 997 for one year, again, I'm only doing this because I'm very grateful to be here and I want to, do, I want to give you guys the best value possible. And I'm hoping that my publisher is not going to kick me out of Wealth Press for this. No, they can't because I'm part owner. But anyways, folks, go to rogerscott.com forward slash Titan. Lifetime, lifetime, lifetime. All right, 997 lifetime, rogerscott.com forward slash Titan. Lifetime. There's only 50 spots available. Go to rogerscott.com forward slash Titan. Do it now. This offer is worth $6,000. If you go to our website, you will pay $29.97 for a year, and then you'll pay another $29.97 to get lifetime. You're getting lifetime for $9.97. Even if you purchased before for $14.97 or for $19.97, lock a lifetime access for yourself and upgrade your subscription. Wondering how much our trades have already made since the flash crash? Let me give you a little taste, all right? This is immediately, this is for the two cycles afterwards. 66.2% and 26.3%. Folks, there's nothing left to do except go to rogerscott.com forward slash Titan. There's never been a better time to join. Four brand new trades are posted in the members area today. Go to Roger Scott. How much time will this take out of your schedule? 15 minutes every two weeks. All right, do this now. Would you trade 15 minutes of your time every two weeks for this? $5,390, $3,400, $8,569. That's definitely worth 15 minutes of my time. Go to rogerscott.com forward slash Titan. You could use any brokerage platform. 
You don't need a large account. You could start with $2,000. Tastyworks, Charles Schwab, Robinhood, E-Trade. Uh, Tastyworks is fine. Lifetime, lifetime. No hidden fees, lifetime. Now, lifetime, all right? Lifetime, fast cash, $2,000 credit, lifetime. All right, let's now see if we have any questions. Um, KR, other than bonds and gold, what's your best recommendations on continuous hedge? TMF, um, any portfolio hedging, any portfolio hedging costs money? No, no, we just use TMF, lifetime, lifetime. All right, all right, now, yes, that's right. No link. No, it should work. The discount should work on there. I think I, I'm pretty sure that that discount works. Yeah, claim your 2000. It, it does work. 997. Do it now. Folks, do it now. I've, I've had people purchase this program and tell me it's the best thing they've ever seen. Let me make sure that the link is working. Let me just click on it here real quick. Yep, it's working perfectly. And it's 997. You really do not want to miss out. Folks, do this for yourself. Do this for your loved ones. Uh, the NASDAQ Titan is going, there's going to be, imagine the Fed pressing a reset button. That's what they did. They pressed the reset button. Hey, Brendan, are you there? I asked my assistant to be here. I want to know, I mean, are there any spots left or did we already sell all 50 spots? Well, we started with 50. Um, phones are a little hammered right now, so we're running out quickly. But all So right. I'd just jump in if you have a chance, if you can. Yeah, folks, <clears throat> folks, do not procrastinate. I'm going to tell you a little story. The biggest, and, and Raleigh, feel free to cut me off whenever my time is up, okay? It's no problem. I've just been taking some notes, some, some other questions here. So when you're ready, I'll feed those to you. Please do. I'm ready. Go ahead. Okay, yeah. So I think this was covered, but I want to make sure that people understand that. And that is that how often do you adjust the stocks in a cluster? For example, if the market is crashing and you've optimized your stock cluster for that, but then it turns around and it's really moving upwards, how, how do you adjust that to take advantage of the upswing? Raleigh, believe it or not, in the 10 years we've been doing this, we have never once adjusted a cluster. Two weeks is what it gets. Wow. And we've never, we've never adjusted the rules to the system in 10 years. We've never modified it. We've never added anything. It's exactly the same thing that I created 20 years ago. The reason we started using it on stocks is because there was no ETFs up to about 10 years ago. Okay. So I had to use futures. I had to use futures bond contracts. I had to use the 10-year note to hedge. But now we have a billion, you know, gazillion ETFs. So it's, 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 a, it's a match made in heaven. So folks, I was trading the system 20 years ago with like a makeshift because there was no ETFs. Then once ETFs started, I, I switched to ETFs. But in the 10 years, I have never once went to my subscribers and said, folks, we have a mid-shift uh, change. It hasn't happened once. That's how stable these sector rotations are. That's fantastic. So obviously the CSI proprietary process that you use takes into consideration what may occur in a two week looking forward time frame, And therefore that's what drives your selection. Is that a fair statement? Well, it, not only is that a fair statement, you actually opened up something really interesting that I want to cover. It takes the CSI scanner takes into account the six month, three month and one month. And what I found was when you take into account those three periods, and you average them right. without putting any kind of fancy schmancy mathematic angle or anything, just <laughs> you will get the most accurate representation of what the market will do over the next few weeks to a month. And here's the other interesting thing. A lot of traders are like, well, you watch 500 stocks. They're always moving up and down. Sometimes I'll have the same stock be in the top 10 for three, four months straight. I got you. So they, it's like watching a movie over and over and over. But the, the accuracy and the propensities, and what I love about the hedge is I'm able to use a bond hedge and I'm able to have a breakout system or a momentum system that has an accuracy of over 70% over the last decade because I'm not using stop losses and I'm using a bond. So it's very natural. It's very organic. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Wow. That's incredible. And I tell you what, the last question that I had here, which I got a kick out of was, so what do you do after 14 days? You know, when do you take profits? How, how, how do you handle that? 
You, 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 that's a great question. Every, and I believe it's Wednesday. We used to have it every first and every 15 and we just said, screw it. We'll just doing it every other Wednesday, I think now. But all we do is this, I reanalyze the positions and the options. Oh, and let's okay. say that I gave you uh, three stocks and a bond. Let's say one of those stocks was Amazon just for argument's sake. Okay. And, and, and let's say Amazon still remains that winner. I'll just, we'll just rotate into it again and just get, get an option that has more time, DK. And, and, and folks, here's the beautiful part about it. What's the worst? What, why do most people hate options? Time decay, right? Time decay. Right. Well, what if, what if every time you buy an option, you know exactly when you're going to liquidate it? And we never let, we've never had one option expire worthless because I know I'm going to hold that option for two weeks and then I'm, it's going to go. So I buy options that have two months left and then liquidate them two weeks later. So the option, the, uh, the stock, the option is a proxy for the stock. So it's, it's very clean, very natural and very mechanical. Most importantly, it hasn't been changed in a decade. Folks do it now. Rogerscott.com Titan. I don't even know if there's spots left. I hope there are. Hey, well, Nikki. Hey, Pat. Nice <laughs> to see you too. Hey, Roger, thank you so much. I've been taking notes and you may mm -hmm. not know this, but uh, my husband's actually been following you for the last year. So we really appreciate your advice. Oh, tell Eric I said hello. He's awesome. I love that guy. He's, he's great. I'm always, I'm always seeing him with the grandkids on Facebook with the picture. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Nikki, you look great, by the way. You look radiant. Oh, Pat, you look wonderful. I oh. like, I like when, when the ladies looking good. I like that. It makes me happy. You both look very relaxed and very happy. I love it. <laughs> well, that's great. Well, I think, Roger, you've given us a full hour of incredible information. And I'm just going to grab the screen from you here for a second and I'm going to put up my screen here. And once again, I just want to thank you so much for the time that you spent with us today and pulling together this presentation and the information. And, and, and folks, once again, his special offer, I'm not going to go over here again, but NASDAQ Titan Plus Unlimited Lifetime Access is an incredible offer. And Roger shared a link with you, and we also have another link that you could use that's easy to remember, westmarktrading.com slash RS. That will redirect to Roger's special offer for $9.97. So once again, Roger, thank you so, so much for your time today. Fantastic presentation. Thank you all, and have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day and a wonderful week. Bye, all. Bye-bye. Thank you, Roger.